All right, so we're at the long range today. I want to take a look. We got our 25 yard, 100 yard, and a 300 way out there. And we're uh, testing out the 30 yard zero. We're confirming uh, what I've seen online by others and what's been recommended by some people. We've got this 25 yard zero adjusted target meant for a 36 yard. Essentially, you have your point of aim and then your impact should be right there if it's done correctly. Once you get that, you should be able to, you know, hit a 10 by 12 target area with minimal um, spread of impact between a number of ranges all the way up to 300 yards. So here's the target we're testing out for a 36 yard zero at 25 yards. We were out here testing out zeros different rifles and I've got point aim right here at 25 point impact here where you need to be for your 36 yard zero so here we go we're gonna test it out we're gonna confirm this at longer ranges we're working with a 16 inch rectus style rifle AR-15 so it's got LPVO 1 to 6 on there nothing too crazy just a cheap rifle I Nope. Okay, we're going to confirm it now. All right, going hot. All right, two hundred. Now 300. So here we are at the 100. Those are the three shots right there and I was aiming around that circle right there. Yep. Yeah. There, 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 and there. That's oh yeah, I mean, I shot the, I did shoot more than three, but yeah. So yeah, 100 yards. And there are my shots. Again, I'm not going for precision. Off to the 200. Oh, I mean, you hit it. Yeah, I, I at least hit it. There's the 200. Now off to the 300. Alright, finally at the 300. And it looks like my target fell. But I can tell you probably why. Probably because I actually hit the steel. Yeah, because that definitely splattered. Yeah. So you hit the steel at least once or twice. Yeah, that doesn't happen unless you hit the steel. This was more of a, if there is a drop, I want to know what it was, but I must have hit the steel, knocked this bad boy off, because I had it mounted right below it. So, I think that's good enough. Hey guys, so I wanted to just close this video real quick. The 36 yards zero, in my opinion, was a success for what it was. You know, I didn't have absolute confidence in the 300 yard, but I'm pretty sure I hit the steel target. With that being said, I will probably end up making a pulp video with me reassuring the zero on there. I will hit the same target again, I print up more, make sure I'm still on a 36 yard zero on my particular rifle setup, and I'm going to reach out to those businesses again. Maybe I'll bring a second camera with a tripod, put it on the 300 yard to make sure I'm actually hitting that gong. You know, we were under a steel roof, the pavilion, so it's really difficult, especially at 300 yards, they actually hear a ding. Maybe it'll be in this video, I don't know. Another note that I wanted to make was how high I was actually kind of hitting on the 200 and 100 from where I was aiming at. It was a little high, in my opinion, uh, but that could have just been me. I think I will do it again, and this time I will practice good, you know, quality control over the trigger and breath and make sure I get real accurate shots. But that's kind of what this 36 yard zero is not really meant for anyway. 
it's more of a combat zero you know a battlefield zero is what they call it something that you just but you know you don't want to do any math you just point and shoot at no matter what distance it should at least hit somewhere in the chest area if you aim center mass which is kind of the whole point so that's kind of what I was going for with this but anyway guys if you like this kind of content go ahead and subscribe I also have Rumble, which I'll put in the description here if you want to check me out there. If you want to support your fellow Patriot, just go ahead and like and subscribe. Anyway, I'm out.